Hello there, hi, you're welcome back to my channel. It's good to see you again. Ben Giovanni di nuovo sul mio canale. Continuiamo con i nostri vocabulari sulla casa. Let's continue with our vocabulary on the house, part two. Okay, I've done part one of this video. This is the link. This is the link to the part one of the video. Questa è la seconda parte. Il link che avete appena visto è il link per accedere a quel video. Questa è la seconda, ricordatelo. Vi consiglio di dare anche un'occhiata a quel video, di guardare anche quel video. I would advise you to watch also that video. Now, without much ado, let's head into this video. The parts of the house. In the house, dentro la casa, abbiamo window window we have the window we have the door the door open the door close the door apri chiudi open close the door we have the balcony the balcony okay the balcony balcony in the house the ceiling ceiling so if you do Cornice. This is a cornice. But this part of the house. Cornice in English. Okay? Cornice. Corridor. The corridor. This is the corridor. Corridor. Facade. Facade. Frontage. Facade. Frontage. The part of the house. Facade. Frontage. Okay? Frontage. Front. Frontage. Floor, the floor, a mental floor, the hall or the hallway, hall, hallway. This is the hall or the hallway. You may choose whichever one you want to call it, hall or hallway. Stairs, the stairs, sky, stairs, elevator, mm, elevator. <laughs> I don't know, elevator. Rooftop. The part of the tetto. The other part of the house is the rooftop. You can go and relax. Okay? The satellite dish is on the rooftop. For example, the satellite dish is on the rooftop. The parabola is on the tetto. We call it roof, roof, tetto, top. Cima, rooftop. Wall. This is a wall. This is a wall. I say wall. Muro. Wall. Column. Column or pillar. Column. That's a column or pillar. You can call it column, you can call it pillar. Because it's the part that supports a building. It's column or pillar. It's the part that uh, the house. Che quelle pilastri che le reggono la casa, column, pillar, doorstep, doorstep, le scale, quelle piccole scale che di solito che troviamo davanti alla porta. This is a doorstep, ok? Doorstep, fans, recinto, ci sono dei capi con il recinto, fans, my house has a fans around it. My house has a fence around it. My house has a recinto in Toronto. Fence. A mailbox or a letterbox. A mailbox or a letterbox. This is a mailbox. You can also call it a letterbox. Okay? But then you can mailbox or email. Mailbox. Box. Scantola. Mail. Scantola che si mette. E le lettere dentro, mailbox, letter box. Ok? Is that ok? So, go. Yeah. Now, just to test, uh, just to consolidate knowledge a bit, because we can call it a bit of a bit of a test. Now, what do you call this in English? Come si chiama? Questa è la foto, come si chiama? Cornice. Cornice. Did you say cornice or there is other cornice? Very good, Ravi. Cornice. 
And this roof top. This is a roof top. Okay. And this behind me. Click on the other man. Okay, Bianco. What is this white stuff called? A wall. This is a wall. Mur. A wall. A white wall. Muro bianco. White wall. You can um, find some examples. You can test yourself. There are so many ways to exercise. Like you can use this video and try to guess the words. You can try to pronounce the words. Okay, this is also a good way to learn. But then the anche chiudere il volume di questo video e cercate di indovinare di dire le parole, pronunciare le parole guardando le alla foto e alle le parole, ok? Senza um, ascoltare quello che sto dicendo, cercate voi di pronunciare, di, di, di indovinare e pronunciare anche le, 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 le parole, ok? Questo è anche un altro modo per imparare. Per favore, iscrivetevi come dico sempre, subscribe to this channel and make sure you share with your friends and family. Condividete i video con i vostri amici, parenti, familiari, etc. Thank you for watching the lesson. Grazie per avermi seguito oggi e vi vedrò nella prossima puntata. And I will see you in my next video. Au revoir. Ciao. Bye.